Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now, tonight's pour is going to be a car-themed one. It's going to be a police car-themed one, and it's going to be a flag-themed one. So we have this police car. It just says police cruiser, and it's got the, the flag on the side. So what I want to do is do a red, white, and blue colors on this painting. Now, I've done a number of flag painting ones uh, in the past, not with cars on them. I, I mean, I've done a couple with cars on them. But before I even started putting cars and objects on my paintings, I did a number of uh, red, white, and blue patriotic uh, flag-themed paintings. And they were, they were always very popular, and uh, I really enjoyed doing those. And I usually, now I usually do a couple during the year, but I normally do one around the 4th of July, which <clears throat> it's only May, the beginning of May right now. So it's, it's still a couple months off. And so, but <clears throat> I kind of wanted to do one. I saw this uh, police car with the flag on it, and that's, so that's what I wanted to do tonight. I do have a show coming up in... Uh, a few days today is monday and it'll be on saturday actually it'll be may 13th and so if you're in the nashville indiana area uh i'll be at the fairgrounds on saturday may 13th at their hog hog wild uh, fair or something like that it's actually the first annual one i'm hoping that it'll be very busy it's at the fairgrounds now if people that aren't familiar with uh indiana um because most everybody here in Indiana knows about Nashville, Indiana, <clears throat> excuse me, which is in Brown County. If you haven't really heard of Nashville, Indiana, you've, you've definitely heard of Brown County. It's a tourist destination. They've got a state park down there. It's just beautiful down there. And a lot of people go down there in the fall when the, the leaves are turning and everything. And I think there's a lake down there. I've only been there once. Uh, my wife and I went there one time before. So... I'm excited about going down there. Um, so it's, uh, if you'll check my holiday paintings page, I'm going to be posting a, uh, the event and everything that I'll be there. So, excuse me. I've already mixed all the paints. We're going to go with red, white, and blue. And they're all artist loft. They're all mixed with Floetrol. I've got some water in them to thin them out because we are going to do a Dutch pour. And I'm going to go with kind of a Dutch pour I've done before on a, on a larger scale, on a 12 by 24. Uh, naturally, we're doing a 10 by 20 canvas. And so all I have to do is adjust the camera and we can get started. Normally, I have my base color down first, but uh, I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to do, I'm, I've got the paints mixed and I'm going to show you how I'm going to pour the paint. Because it's going to be a little bit different than like my normal car Dutch pour paintings. All right, as you can see, we've got our canvas here. I've got my paints mixed. Here's my blue. I've actually got quite a bit of blue. I won't need as much of that, but I'd probably be doing just a, an extra painting uh, with the excess. I might fill my uh, containers up first. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a blue field here in this area. Then I'm going to do red and white stripes here and then we're going to put some white paint there and we're going to blow it out so let's get some blue on here definitely have a lot of paint left over normally i don't show this because it's just boring but eh, what the heck you guys wanted to be bored tonight didn't you I thought so. And I know I don't show this much, but I like to get all the sides done. I don't, I like the, the paint to fill the sides. I don't like the white part of the canvas showing on there. So I just try to make sure I get them all. All right.
see, let me get my torch so I can torch this before I get started. here We have the car here so where am i going to put it you might be asking that's a good stinking question where do i want to put it i want it to be in a defined area I'm thinking about right there.
there you have it we'll have the car here I initially wasn't thinking of doing flames out of the red white and blue but that's what it ended up being inspiration hit me I guess you could say so all we have to do is wait for this to dry and we can a little bit more white covering that red there and then we'll have a pretty good piece I think All right, that's enough tinkering with it for right now. All right, as you can see, this has dried. And we have it taped on the back. 10 by 20 canvas. We're going to use 7 ounces of, of resin. I'm using Promise Resin. I've measured out three and a half of the hardener and three and a half the epoxy in this cup that has the ounces on the side. So you can just fill it up to those ounces and start mixing. I think after this, after this painting, I will need to clean up this cup because the resin, you can't get it all out and it will dry in there and it will build up on the inside of your cup. So then your measurements will be off a little bit. So this one was up about to two ounces. And so I had to add two ounces to that. So I went to five and a half and then to eight. Is that right? Or nine? Sorry. So anyway, I will clean that out. I do have a tutorial video on how to clean that resin cup out. It's not that hard. And I've been using this cup, this same cup for a while now because I just keep cleaning it out. And it's almost like a brand new cup by the time you're done. To peel that stuff right out. So be sure to go over to that video and take a look at that. Like like it. Leave me a comment what you, what you think because it will help. Alrighty. Ah, I must have popped a... I really need to clean this table off get all this thrown away burned we have a burn pile out in the country we live out in the country so we just have a burn pile so when we burn our cardboard boxes we get quite a few of them and some other odds and ends we just go ahead and burn them and I take this plastic up and this resin, throw it on there, and these cardboard uh, cores, and just burn them. That's how I get rid of it. So, I need to do that soon. It's building up on the cores here and they're sharp and when I was when I was uh, spreading this out I hit a sharp edge it didn't poke me but it poked a hole in my glove because when I took my gloves off I had a little bit of resin on my fingers wipe that off so that's why I need to get this thing cleaned off
So I'm getting excited about the craft fair that I'm going to be participating in this weekend in a couple days. This is Wednesday and the show is Saturday. is doing some laundry so that's our dryer going off uh so yeah tomorrow night i will be loading up our car our suv with everything that i'm going to be taking to the show and then the reason i do it the night before but even though tomorrow's Thursday and the event is until Saturday, it is a couple hours away from our house, so I got a hotel room. So I'm going from work tomorrow on Friday, excuse me. So I have to take her vehicle. It's actually my wife's SUV, and I use it for the shows. So she has to drive my car. So I'm driving it to work Friday and leaving straight from work and going down south of Indianapolis <clears throat> to a town called Nashville, Indiana, down in Brown County, very touristy place, so I'm hoping to do well. And so I'm looking forward to it. So this one will be ready for that, which I'm excited about. I painted one last night. It'll probably be dry tomorrow. I can actually resin it tomorrow night. And then, actually, I could put it in Friday morning before I leave for work. And it should be hard enough to It'll be ready to sell Saturday. All right, so I believe I got all the bubbles out of there. So we're going to put this car more like right in here. There we go. Because I wanted the, I was going to go down further, like to right to have the end of it here. But this is kind of solid here. So I kind of wanted the car to stick out a little bit more into the blue, a white car. So there we have our police car, the cruiser with the flag on the side in the red, white, and blue, shooting out some blue exhaust, flamey. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is that a, no, that's just it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And hit the notification button so you'll know when I post a new video. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. And as always, thanks for watching.